I'm Rashmi Halker Singh. I'm the deputy editor of Headache. I am joined today by Dr. Chia Chun Chang, who is the recipient of the 2024 uh, Wolf Award for her manuscript, Advancing Toward Precision Me Migraine Treatment, Predicting Responses to Preventive Medications with Machine Learning Models Based on Patient and Migraine Features. So welcome, Dr. Chang, and congratulations on this prestigious award. We're so proud of you. I'm really excited to talk to you about this uh, th today. So congratulations again. Thank you so much. I'm really honored to be here today to talk about this study. Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I think this really speaks to the importance of precision medicine and how our society really cares for trying to find the right treatment for any given patient at, in, the, in the shortest interval possible. And, um, you know, there's, consist there's constant discussion in how we can use machine learning and artificial intelligence to help us uh, find that pathway. This comes up in my clinic a lot. And I think there's a lot of interest within the society to do that as well. And your, your work really is a good example of that. And the fact that it won the Wolf Award really speaks to that as well. Um, first of all, can you tell us about your study? Yes, of course. So the main goal of this study is to develop machine learning models that can accurately predict treatment response to different types of migraine preventive medications before the medication is being started. And the reason, as you pointed out, is currently, despite that we have many different treatment options available to reduce the frequency and severity of headache, there is no way to accurately predict whether a patient would respond to which medicine. So oftentimes it's a trial and error process, you know, having starting one medication, go through it for about three to six months, and then start the second medication, the third medication. So it often takes months to years before a patient can find a preventive therapy that works for them and that is tolerable. So the goal is to see whether we can develop this machine learning models that can predict this treatment response even before this medication is started. So that is the goal of this study and the reason to do so. And in terms of how we did it, at Mayo Clinic, we have a headache registry. So in which we have, we have been collecting data over the past 20 years. When patients came into our headache clinic, we asked them to fill out a questionnaire, which has very detailed migraine characteristic. When they returned for follow-up visit, we asked them the medications that they have tried and how they respond to that medication. And by calculating the change in headache days, we were able to kind of compute treatment response to different types of medications. So for this particular study, I extracted all the data that we collected over the past 20 years. And um, we were able to get about 4,000 patients that had treatment response to at least one of the commonly used migraine preventive therapy. So I picked seven different types of commonly used migraine preventive medication, including topiramate, tricyclic antidepressant, beta blockers, Botox injections, CGRP monoclonal antibodies, and gabapentin and verapamil. Then um, I did um, kind of data processing to make sure that we have detailed headache characteristic of each patient and their treatment response data. Then I use several machine learning techniques to develop this machine learning model. So first, we use a deep learning technique called TEPNET to kind of train this model using all the patient characteristics of this group of 4,260 patients. Then I develop individual prediction models to each of the type, seven different types of prediction, med um, prediction migraine preventive medications. So what did you find with all of this? So yeah, the result was uh, really exciting for, um, we found that, so first, you know, the performance of these different types of machine learning models. So, so for each medicine we have, we develop a machine learning model to predict the treatment response. So we found that for one particular type of medicine, the CGRP monoclonal antibodies, which is a class of migraine specific medications, um, has very robust performance with an AUC of 0 0.83 and accuracy of 80%. So um, AUC is a commonly used measure to evaluate the performance of machine learning models. And so with an AUC of 0 0.83 and 80% accuracy, it is quite 
high and robust, especially comparing to other types of machine learning models of performance, which were reported in the literature overall in healthcare for other indications. So the AUC, the performance for our CGRP prediction model was very high, and the performance for um, other medications, our models to predict other medications, were around um, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, which was around the number that um, was reported in the literature for other indications in healthcare. So I would say overall, um, we were able to develop very, a, a very accurate and robust model that can accurately predict treatment response to the CGRP monoclonal antibodies. And to uh, predict the treatment response to other types of migraine preventive medications, we have kind of moderate predictability. So that was the performance of these models. In addition, we also identify different predictors that can predict uh, that are most important in terms of um, predicting the who will be a responder to, uh, for for each medicine. We found that there are several variables, including headache frequency, BMI migraine characteristic and common migraine triggers were among the most important variables to predict treatment response to different types of medicine. Were you surprised by any of your findings at all? I think um, for some of these predictors, those are um, those we can, we, I was not too surprised by some of the predictors. For example, we found that higher headache frequency uh, were a negative predictor, was a negative predictor to most of the medication and that is not surprising. However, uh, we also found some very interesting results. So, for example, when we look at the positive predictors for the two different group of medicine, one is the CGRP monoclonal antibody, one is onabotulinum toxin injection, we found that the predictors, positive predictors, were actually quite different. So, for example, in our study, we found that patient who had a lower BMI and who reported lack of sleep as their main migraine trigger were positive predictors for positive predictors for CGRP monoclonal antibody. On the other hand, patients with a higher BMI and reported too much sleep as a trigger of their headache were a positive trigger to Botox injections. So I think this tells us that patients with different clinical characteristics might respond to different medications differently, which speaks to the importance of precision migraine treatment, meaning that we tailor an individual patient's treatment plan based on a patient's characteristic. Absolutely. You know, I was very interested by your study for so many reasons. We know that at about one year, about 80% of individuals with migraine tend to discontinue their migraine treatment. I think that allowing for precision medicine will help us to better meet the needs of our patients. We also know about the significant disability with migraine and having to go through this trial and error process that you so nicely described at the beginning adds to the clinical burden as well. And with this recent update to the consensus statement that allows us to use, that recommends that we use CGRP target treatments as a first line option option will allow us to be a little bit more patient-centric with our approach as well. And, um, you know, you were able to go through 20 years of data um, and thousands of patient, patient uh, histories as well in your database to come up with your findings. I think all of that um, adds to the robustness of your study and will allow us to hopefully implement, um, you know, your findings in greater change. What is the next step? How do we take your study and bring it to our patients? Just because, you know, I'm a clinician, I see patients every day. Um, and part of my job is to take, you know, this conversation that you just shared where patients are asking, how do we treat their migraine attacks? And they ask me this very question about what medicine is the best thing for them. And I have to have this conversation about, we have to try something and see, and how do we implement precision medicine into uh, the hands of clinicians? How do we bring this into, you know, what's the next step here? Yes. So I think these are really exciting research findings for, for the different reasons that we, we talk about. The next step is we are currently doing prospective validation studies, especially for our CGRP model to make sure that it continues to perform well in kind of the 
the patients that we that we have in our in our registry. For other medicines, I think um, we are hoping to incorporate more features to try to optimize the performance of these models. So I think going forward, in addition to clinical characteristic, in, including other kind of patient characteristic, could potentially optimize these the performance of these models, and that might include, for example imaging findings or genetic findings, kind of those other multi-modality features or variables to continue to, to optimize the performance of these models. And, you know, once we are, um, we have models that are proven, you know, in prospective validation studies, then these could certainly be, be used as a clinical decision support tool to help clinicians um, kind of implement them in their daily practice to optimize kind of the current trial and error process, hopefully can shorten the time that patient needs to find the optimal preventive therapy for them. Excellent. Well, this certainly gives us all a lot of hope for the future. I think your research is very exciting and we look forward to the next to uh, whatever comes next from you. Thank you so much. Thank for you so much. You Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.